Okay, in this video, I want to talk about density, unit weight, dry density, dry unit weight, and I want to talk about how we calculate dry unit weight if we know the, the unit weight and the moisture content of the soil. So just by way of refresher, uh, I, I want to say that we calculate the water content in a soil sample as the ratio of the mass or weight of water divided by the mass or weight of solids. And uh, usually we multiply this by 100% and express it as a percent, but as I may have mentioned in a previous video or as I mentioned often in my classes, is that it's often better to think of the water content as a ratio rather than a percentage. I'd also like to just remind you that in geotechnical engineering and soil mechanics, we often use the Greek letter rho to represent density, and it will be expressed most often in geotechnical engineering as kilograms per cubic meter. That, that's the units that we'll use for density. For unit weight, we use the Greek letter gamma, and we express it most often in kilonewtons per cubic meter. And sort of useful to know, if you're doing calculations and you end up with numbers that are outside the range of, say, 1,600 to 2,300 kilograms per cubic meter, then you've probably made a mistake. Similarly, if you calculate numbers outside a range of about, uh, let's, let's just say 16 to 23 kilonewtons per cubic meter, again, you've probably made a mistake. So these are sort of the target ranges for these values. And it's also important to note that the density, the density and the unit weight are related to each other simply by the acceleration of gravity. So we can write gamma is equal to the density rho times gravity, where gravity is 9.8 or 9.81 meters per second squared. So if you are doing labs, particularly the uh, compaction or proctor lab, as it's sometimes called, you will need to convert your measurements of density or unit weight into dry density or dry unit weight by correcting it by whatever the measured water content is in the soil. And the most important formula that we use for that is of the form gamma sub d, where d is used, the subscript d is used to denote dry density, and the relationship between the dry density and the density, or sometimes called wet density or bulk density, is simply rho divided by 1 plus the water content. And you might say, well, um, you know, where does this come from? I think probably the easiest way to think of this is, is if you go back to the definition of what uh, density is where density, just universally, is expressed as mass divided by volume. Similarly, unit weight, gamma, is expressed as weight divided by volume, or mg divided by v. But if we think about this in the context of soil mechanics, I can say that, really, it's the mass of two things. It's the mass of the solids plus the mass of the water divided by the volume. And uh, if you think back to what you may have seen in your textbook described as a phase diagram, that's, that's one of those diagrams that is usually shown like this to represent a soil sample. And then if we idealize that soil sample and say, well, some portion of that soil is air, some portion of it is water, and some portion of it is solid. Or you may, may have seen this uh, in your textbook or in a lecture. So, so the, the density of this 
as a soil, this is all mixed together in the, the phase diagram, it's idealized in its specific sort of volumes. The mass of the, the solids and the mass of the water is really the only thing that contributes to the calculation of the density. Of course, the air has an effect, uh, but it doesn't come into the calculations because it doesn't have a mass or a weight or negligible. So if I look at this formula, and I think back to my definition of the water content, I can actually express the mass of the water as the mass of the solids times the water content. So I could rewrite this formula as the mass of the solids plus the water content times the mass of the solids divided by the volume. And if I do that, if let's say, I, and I, I factor out the mass of the solids, I end up with, I'll write it over here, I end up with the density being equal to the mass of the solids times 1 plus the water content, just a little bit of algebra there, divided by the volume. And what you can see immediately is that this part of the equation, the mass of the solids divided by the volume, is actually the definition of the dry density. So you could substitute the dry density term in here, rearrange, and you can see how we, we arrive at this formula for dry density. And, and I'll just point out that the formula for the dry unit weight takes exactly the same form, where it is the, the wet unit weight divided by 1 plus the water content. So if you're doing your geotechnical lab on compaction, or any other lab for that matter, and you need to calculate dry unit weight or dry density, if you know the water content, then you can convert between the, the wet density or wet unit weight and the dry unit weight and dry density.